Well, hello there, my masterful riggers. <laughs> oh, okay, so now it is time for the fun part, which is baking your textures and getting them ready for painting in Photoshop. So um, what we need to do now is establish our UV maps. Now luckily with Marvel's Designer, your UVs, which are shown here, are already unwrapped for you. So you don't have to do any marking of the seams and unwrapping or anything because Marvel's Designer did it for you already when we were designing it in the 2D window. So huzzah for time saving. Um, for this part of the tutorial, I'm only going to focus on the t-shirt because I love texture in t-shirts more than I do texture in pants. Although what you learn here in the t-shirts, you can apply to your pants to, um, yeah, just do that. So one of the things we want to do here is we want to fill all of this space because even though it fits inside of our UV mat, the texture is going to be really small and it could possibly be uh, squished very low. So we want to make sure that we fill in all of this space as much as we can. And Blender has a feature that does it for you automatically called Peck the Islands. It sounds so dirty, doesn't it? We're going to peck those islands tight with our UV maps. So what we need to do so we can get a better texture. So what I need you to do is to first click on your garment, our t-shirt here. Then you're going to press tab. Then you're going to press A. And it shows your UV map over here in the UV window. Then you're going to move your cursor over here to the UV window and you're going to press A and select everything. Then you're going to scroll on down until you see this little button here that says UVs and you're going to select Peck Islands. Now it may slide it sideways but that's just what it does so don't worry. We're just going to need to go over here to the right side of our screen where it says rotate and uncheck that. So now our t-shirts are in here. It's a little bit, a lot bigger than what it was before. So now we have a really, uh, a bigger space that would draw our textures on, which is great. So since we have our t-shirt here, we need to create a new map. So 1024 by 1024 by default. Um, some people say 512 by 512 is really good too for making a texture. Uh, it's really up to you. 512 by 512, I mean, 512 by 512 loads faster than 1024 by 1024, and it uses less memory than 1024. But uh, I'm just going to use 1024 right now because I don't feel like resizing it later on inside of later. <laughs> anyway, so we're just going to name this uh, t shirt. Oh, let's name it t shirt bake to be proper. Alright, so we have it in here. And I like to bake my shirts on their own layer to prevent any kind of unnecessary dark spots. So once we have our t-shirt baked, we're just going to go over here to the little world icon. And with this dev kit, it may be gone. So you just press new and it opens up a whole new world for you. <laughs> uh, I want to sing it so bad, but Disney copyright. <laughs> We're going to press the ambient occlusion button and then, <clears throat> there we go, ambient occlusion. And then scroll down to where it says samples. Now, samples depends on how fast and powerful your computer is. Um, if we leave it on 5 and bake, you'll notice that your t-shirt will have more of a grit texture to it. For, uh, I'm going to switch it to AL. You'll notice that it has some sort of a grit to it. Not noticeable, but some people can't stand that. So if you don't want it to be kind of gritty, uh, just increase the sample rate. The more samples on it, the longer it'll take. Um, I've seen people go all the way up to like 200 and then walk away for the evening. <laughs> uh, personally, uh, 10 is fine with me. I like a little bit of texture to it. I don't mind. Now if this is a little dark for you, we can... Uh, try to lighten it up a bit, turn my intensity up, and turn this all the way to white, and then bake it one more time. But I usually do it this way. So now we have a pure white t-shirt baking thingamajig. Normally I would go to crazy about that, but I, I, I'll leave it alone right now. Alright, so we have our shirt, we have our UV map. 
and we need to do something with it save it so go to image and then save as navigate to your project folder and you want to press this plus sign a couple of times and then hit save as because for some reason I don't know if it's just my luck or whatever I always save over my good bake with something stupid so if I make a duplicate of it it won't you know go to hell so quickly all right so we have our t-shirt we have our UV thingy now if you're one of those people who want to make templates that you want to give the people and you don't want to give them a shaded mat because some people are like that um, you can click on your garment go back into edit mode go to UVs and then choose export UV layout and then save it back into your project folder and when we go to our project folder view large icons you'll see you'll get that net thingy that people love so much all right so now that we have it we need to export our t-shirt as an obj so that we can put it inside of photoshop and start doing our texturing in there so click on your shirt and then you want to go file export obj always export it as an obj never export it as a dae or never expect, most importantly, never expect it as a rigged DAA. Goodness gracious, your Photoshop will crash. So we're going to name this T-shirt for painting. And make sure the selection only is checked, just like we did in Marvelous. And hit export. So once it's done in there, we're all ready for painting. Although, you know what? We got some time left, so I can just keep on going. Two for one today at the Mighty Ginkgo. So let's go back inside here and we're going to double click and open up our Photoshop. Now I find that it works a lot better if you open your 3D thing externally and not internally. Meaning double click on it from the folder, not trying to open it from file, open Photoshop and stuff like that. Because sometimes it gives you that you've opened the wrong type of document thing. You don't encounter that that much if you open it from your folder. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop. And these are your controls. You'll see your stuff here. These are your controls for rotating. They're usually down here at the bottom. So the 3D objects rotate. So just rotate it around to get to the front. Um, your roll. Uh, your zoom in and out like this now because you don't you can use the magnifying glass but it just zooms in on the canvas not so much the 3d mesh so you want to use this zoom in zoom out and then we're ready so we need to set our stuff up for painting so before you begin painting on your creation you want to turn your attention down to the layers layers and then you want to double click on where it says like t-shirt baker textures this is diffuse and whatever the hell this is named so just double click that and you will come to your 2d window with your t-shirt pattern in here now sometimes your t-shirt texture won't come uh don't worry about it if it doesn't just grab it from your project folder and drag it in and then you'll have it so on this we're going to create a new layer this is going to be what we're painting on so just click on this tiny little box down here and it gives you a new layer now, I always suggest that if you are going to make a colored t-shirt, that you color it here in a 2D window first because it's a lot easier to just grab the paint bucket and uh, pick a color and slap it on there and add it to your shirt than it is to go in there and try to, like, all over a 3D texture. <laughs> So you just want to play with the layer color setter thingies until it gets to a color that you want. We got a bad habit of making black shirts when we're doing this. Um, so I'm making a little bit blacker. There we go. And then create a new layer so we can paint on top of it. So once we have our brand new layer, our color layer, and then our decor layer is what we're going to call it. We're just going to press the X button here and say yes. And you see now we have a pretty black shirt for us to paint on to. Now once you're ready to paint, it's the same thing as painting on any 2D one. You just grab your brush. Uh, sorry. Grab your brush. Pick a color. 
and then start doodling all over your shirt like so and then when you double click on your layer down here you'll see that it's all colored in on to your shirt cool huh now let's say you wanted to put text on your shirt now we would create a new layer like we did in the 2d one you would open up your text thingy jig down there your text box and you would put it on wherever you want and you want it to call it know, right, whatever you want tutorial <laughs> tit well oh god I forgot it's what tutorials I can't even make the joke tutorial and uh, you make it as big as you want your font you choose what type of font you want uh, at least give me some cool there we go now you can do all the stuff you want choosing your colors whatever you desire um, you can edit it and add effects to it so like blending options you can add all your effects you want to it like you would normal I'm sure some graphic designer is rolling their head right now. I'm not good at these kind of things. Uh, bevel. There we go. So you have that. And then you once you sort out how you want your font to look and you're like, okay, it's done. We're going to click on the paintbrush tool and you're going to see a little no sign here. Just click on it and say, okay. So now your font has been changed into a, your text has been converted into a graphic. And then you just click on it and say merge down. Oh, I think mine is near my, um, let's see, put it here then. Now merge down. There we go. So when we rotate it, you see, yeah, I had mine too high up. <laughs> All right, so we have tutorial on there, and then that's the same. Now, text and graphics are fine, but doodles are fine. But what about uh, pictures? Of course, we can add pictures into this. So we are going to add a new layer for us to work on. Come back to our shirt. Position it properly. Now we're going to find a t-shirt pattern that we want. The last one we used was... Let's see. You can go to any kind of shirt site. I will open this up. Oh, excuse me. Let me see. Once upon a tea. Upon tea. There we go. It's my favorite shirt company. You will not believe how much money I spend on these shirts. <laughs> so just look around and see if there's a shirt in here that you like. Things with white backgrounds are preferably the best. Go and get the paint job. Save. Cool. Alright, so. Alright, and then we open up Photoshop. Take our graphic, put it in here. Paste, place it. And then I'm going to use the magic eraser yeah yeah and let me get rid of that okay maybe i'll turn the tolerance just a little bit now there are some other tutorials where people will show you how to do feathering and all the rest of that junk i am not good at feathering and junk <laughs> but it's okay it's okay i forgot how to feather like i used to know but it's okay. We'll figure it out one day. And then we'll do a tutorial on proper feathering and all the rest of that junk. But there's a ton, ton of tutorials where people teach you how to stuff. So you may want to check those out. Alright, so we do the same thing. Merge down. Alright. And I'm going to go over to the t-shirt thing. Try my best to make this look not as bootlegged. Hey, that looks cool. Why not? 
So yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's cheap, but you 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 get what what it goes on. It works better, I guess, if you have a shirt that's near the same color of shirt that you're working with. Then it won't be so bad. Maybe I'll find another one. Let's let's go back and look for a black shirt. If you know how to cut things out properly, you know, with feathering and junk like that, it may work out better for you than what I did. Alright, so let me see, let me see. Digimon shirts! Ooh, I wonder how this will work out. Sorry, I love Digimon. I love Palamon. It was my favorite Digimon. I mean, yeah, Pokemon's great and all, but Digimon. Alright, so let's try that again. Kick, 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 kick. Alright, uh, put that in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> Digimon comes through. And you just put it on there. Make sure your shirt is properly facing you. You don't want it to be crooked now. Alright. And then we put this here. Oops. Don't move the t-shirt. Move the pattern. And then we merge it down. And there you go. So we have a Digimon shirt. I probably should have cleaned that black out some more, but... Eh, it's a tutorial shirt. Nobody's gonna... Okay, there. We can do that. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Uh, eh, eh, eh. You know what? I think the black will stay. Yes. So once we have our t-shirt done, we just go to save as in our 2D window. Navigate to our project folder. Save it as a JPEG. I like to turn it up. Why not? <laughs> Alright, and then that's it. Now all that's left for us to do is to export our t-shirt well well we can save this there we go so we can come back to it later now all that's left to do is for us to export our t-shirt and put it into second life which technically should be another video yeah because then i gotta wrap it up all right so that's it for 3d painting and we're gonna go to our very last video exporting and wearing and applying that texture we just made and then there you go the class is done and you will be officially a master at making basic clothes for the bbl body isn't it exciting all right so I'll see you in the last video here we go